Gray belt. Ground fighting. Arm bar from the mount. When the fight is transitioned to the deck, this technique will quickly gain control of the attacker either through pain compliance or significant injury to the elbow and shoulder areas of the attacker. Executed from the mount position. Trap the opponent's hands securely against your chest area by bringing both arms over in front and locking the opponent's forearms to your chest. With both of your hands securely on his wrist. Transitioning one hand down to the brachial plexus tie-in while maintaining control of both forearms with your other hand. Weight distribution should be applied to your left foot, which is securely placed underneath the opponent's shoulder blade. Distribute all weight onto that left foot while shooting your right leg around the attacker's head, possibly getting an incidental knee strike. Sitting firmly around that strong side, locking your heels, bringing your knees in firm, keeping positive control of the wrist throughout the entire technique. Your hips are utilized as a fulcral point while maintaining positive control of the wrist and leaning back. By sitting back, this is what will cause a significant damage to the attacker. Notice the heels are in tight, securely locking in the right shoulder of the attacker. Here again we see the trap, the transition to the brachial plexus tie-in. shift and weight distribution to the left foot while shooting around the left leg, locking in the heels, bringing the knees in tight, lifting the attacker's shoulder up onto your hips and leaning back. This technique should never be applied at full force in training. Increase speed with proficiency. Gray belt, ground fighting, arm bar from the mount. 